Meanwhile, the World Meteorological Organization has said that forecast for October to December show high chances of drier than average conditions in the Horn of Africa, as the worst drought is more than 40 years looks, almost certain to persist. The drought has coincided with a global rise in food and fuel prices pushed up by the war in Ukraine that has hit parts of Africa hardest. In June, the World Bank said an estimated 66.4 million people in the Horn of Africa region were, for, uh, were forecast to experience food stress or a food crisis, emergency or famine by July. At least 10 million children are suffering as four rainy seasons have failed in the space of two years, killing vast swathes of livestock and crops and drying up, uh, drying up water sources. More than 1.8 million children across Ethiopia, Kenya and Somalia require urgent treatments for life-threatening severe acute malnutrition. More than 1 million people across the region have been driven from their homes in search of food and water. Worse still, the effect of the war in Ukraine is set to tip more families in the Horn of Africa over the edge with increasing food and fuel prices and reducing the availability of wheat imports. The World Meteorological Organization said parts of the greater Horn of Africa, which are already experiencing drought, uh, are bracing for a fifth consecutive failed rainy season. Clearly, all this will worsen uh, with the crisis, which is impacting millions of men, women, and children in the area. The forecast for October to December of this year shows high chances of drier than average conditions across most parts of the region, in particularly in the drought impacted areas of Ethiopia, Kenya, and Somalia, which are expected to receive significantly below rainfall totals through the end of the year.